What is going on? All of you growers and smokers out there. Easy Breezy here coming at you guys with another video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to use a Instapot or a Crock-Pot or, or something of that nature to sterilize your substrate. Guys, I've had a lot of uh, questions about this and everything like that. And I finally went out to Walmart and I bought one just for this video. So if you could be so kind, uh, go ahead and leave me a like. Also, let's get some Patreon shoutouts. Jamie Quinn, of course, thank you so much. And all the supporters that you are seeing on screen right now. With that, let's get into it. So as you can see here, I already have some jars inside of this. Uh, I'm just going to call it an Instapot. Um, and uh, I ran out of aluminum foil, so I had to switch the lids with these regular ones here. But um, I did make the ones with holes in them. I just ran out of aluminum foil. Uh, so this is okay. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, proceed with this. Um, so the first thing is these... Uh, I can't remember how many quarts they are. It's, I think they're all one size. Uh, they'll fit four uh, pint-sized jars. And um, so what you want to do, of course, make all of your substrate and everything like that. We're rolling with the classic BRF tech here. And um, so put them in. Uh, make sure you have this basin in here. Uh, don't take it out. Uh, make sure you have that in. And you want to put your jars in and then fill it up with water. You want to go about halfway uh, for your jar level. Look at your, your jars and when the water reaches about halfway in, it's, I know it's kind of hard to see, um, that's about how much water you want to have. And then after that, it's just a matter of throwing the lid on. So let me go grab my lid. I don't have my tripod with me right now. So let me grab my lid and throw it on top real quick here. All right, guys, we got our lid on now. Now the one thing you... Uh, want to look at is your steam vent here make sure it's closed uh, it'll look like that that's open that's closed all right so make sure that is closed make sure of course you have it locked in and now we're gonna if I can see this right uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it on can we do this no okay uh, meat and stew I guess high pressure um, Temp adjust. Uh, okay, it won't let me, I guess. Oh, I got to start it. Uh, can we set? Okay, there's the timer. This is the timer. So we're going to set this for an hour and 40 minutes, actually, because these are 12 PSI here. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you select, uh, just to make sure that you have the high uh, for the pressure adjust, and then we're going to adjust the temperature here. Um, so let's go ahead and hit start and it's heating and I guess we are going to have to wait to adjust the temperature. Um, so I'm not going to record that part, I guess, uh, but you're going to want to put it at 244. I, I think that might be the default for it, uh, but 244 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, we're pressure cooking these for 10 minutes longer and, um, because it's a it's a lower psi and that's that's it that's honestly all there is to it guys uh like i say i can't guarantee the results because uh this is my first time doing it so i will be doing updates on this and uh, we'll see how it goes and everything like that but that is my recommendations if you are using a instapot or a crock pot or anything like that high psi whatever one of these that you want uh uh 100 minutes or an hour and 40 minutes and uh, temperature 244 250 is all right too uh 250 is a good temp too but uh 244 is what i recommend uh so with that guys if you like this type of content be sure to like comment and subscribe tomorrow i'll be posting a video on um transferring brf cakes to bulk and also i will be showing the inoculation of these jars here so until next time guys keep on growing Keep on smoking, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.